This evening, one person has been arrested after a deadly shooting inside the parking garage at the Roseville Galleria. ABC 10's Garsh Paul Sangha has been there since this afternoon and has the latest for us. Garsh Paul, what have you learned so far? Yeah, Luke, we are seven plus hours into this investigation and police tell us this is very much active here. What we can see from the outside is you can see the security guards, they're on both entrance of this parking garage. So this shooting happened uh, late this morning and it happened on the third floor of this parking garage. We don't know exactly how big that crime scene is, but police did tell us it is large enough that they forced the entire floor to close down. Police cars and caution tape surrounding this Roseville Galleria parking garage after a shooting leaves one person dead. And it sounds like there was a subject shot on the third floor of the five story parking garage. The call came in around 1030 Saturday morning. Police audio describing what first responders dealt with. Oh, all right, gunshot wounds to the neck. She's unresponsive so far. Police say they try to save her life, but she died on scene. We can confirm that we do have one deceased victim at this time. Uh, we were able to quickly detain the suspect, uh, not on mall property. He was already off of property. Um, we did locate the weapon. Police detained the person about 30 minutes after the shooting took place. What led up to the shooting hasn't been released yet, but Roseville Police Lieutenant Chris Champa says this wasn't a random incident. We believe they were known to each other. We don't know the exact relationship, but we do know that they arrived in the same vehicle at the mall. We just don't know the exact relationship at this time. The shooting didn't impact mall operations, but people saying they're certainly looking over their shoulders. It does put a little bit of fear in just kind of knowing the fact that that's kind of going on here. Roseville has had some problems with shootings, especially over by Wood Creek, but usually Roseville is a safe area. Champa reassuring the public. The mall property is extremely safe and Roseville is still extremely safe. Uh, as defined by our response and how quickly we caught the suspect. And so right now, no information has been released about the suspect, but police did tell us he is going to be booked into the Placer County Jail tonight. And police also told us that they detained a person of interest, but that person was later let go after they did their investigation. So a lot of questions still left to be answered, but the main one, that suspect has been arrested, Luke. All right, some relief then for families in Roseville tonight, Garsh Ball, but still a very troubling situation. Thank you for that reporting.